Would you look at this daffodil field? It's so pretty. It's so fun to see. I was just driving down the highway and had to stop and share them with you. They're just getting thicker and thicker and thicker. go cut like a million of them. I don't think I can, but that's okay. <laughs> Sorry about all that traffic noise, but I had to share these with you. Hi there, you're watching Gardens and Graveyards, and we are at the Seabright Gardens and Nursery in Salem, Oregon. They specialize in hostas, ferns, epimedians, and shade-loving plants, as well as some well, that's what they specialize in. And then they have some sun-loving plants as well. And we've never been here before. No. Nope. So we're excited. Um, Spencer is a huge hosta lover. So we're gonna try to rein ourselves in and not over-purchase. Not gonna happen. <laughs> uh, but we have a lot of shade in our garden and dappled shade in our garden, so there's plenty of space if we do go overboard um, for hostas and other shape loving plants and our whole goal for 2022 is our lower garden which is mostly shade Good. so we and we don't have it's not very developed down there so it's time to buy plants yeah need some structure plant structure we have lots of structure yeah. landscaping and stuff down That's there true. yeah so all right, Let's get to it. here we go. This nursery was so sweet and there were so many more plants than I ever expected. Just rhododendrons and azaleas and irises and ground covers and elderberries and blueberries and clematis and delphiniums and lupines just so much fun and plants I'd never seen before or heard of before that were just really fun and just it was just a really great beautiful nursery to visit Of course, we did end up picking up a few other shade-loving plants, such as this Valentine Bleeding Heart and um, a couple of other things, as well as a couple of sun-loving flowers. How can you possibly resist when these plants look so amazing, so well cared for, so well labeled, just beautiful specimens. I highly recommend going to Salem, Oregon, visiting Seabright Gardens, well worth the trip by far. A really fun surprise was all of these Epimedians. I have never seen so many varieties before. So while I didn't purchase any because I'm not really sure where I'm going to put them, I'm definitely looking around the garden and thinking about that a little bit more because I had no idea there were so many varieties. Very cool. And then, of course, the main event in this hoop house were hundreds and maybe hundreds of hundreds of hostas. And, of course, we stopped and looked at so many of them and geeked out on them and read all the labels. Um, we ended up spending a little over two hours at this nursery. And I have to tell you, it's not that big of a nursery, but there are that many plants to look at and try to make decisions about.
Okay, here we go. This is our Seabright Hosta Nursery <laughs> Plant Hall. Sea Lotus Miss Ruby Abiqua. And Mystery. this one. Feather Boa. We got a Clarence Mystery. <laughs> This one, Elegance, Fragrant Dream, Fire and Ice, Blue Umbrellas, Woo La La, the Woo La La, and the Fire and Ice, and go. the Bikwa were the only ones on our wish list. <laughs> and then we got some Delphinium, a Delphinium, and some Lupines, and this absolutely gorgeous valentine bleeding heart with this dark foliage and red hearts oh, i'm in love Yay. while the display gardens were not really in their full flush they looked beautiful so we're looking forward to going back this summer if you liked what you saw today, make sure you like, subscribe, and ring the bell so you keep getting notified whenever we post new videos. And stay tuned for our Hostapalooza plant haul planting day coming up in a new video.